today I'm gonna show you a full grocery haul, literally every single thing I just got at the grocery store in a fat loss phase with the main goals of getting leaner and losing body fat. Now at the time of making this video, I'm already about 10 pounds down in this fat loss phase. So I do wanna get a little bit leaner, I do wanna bring my body fat percentage down a little bit. So all the foods I'm about to show you are meant with that goal in mind of losing body fat and getting leaner. It's gonna be a very casual video. I'm literally just gonna put my groceries away, but I'm gonna to explain to you why I got each thing. And my hope is that maybe you can take an idea or two away from this video or find something that maybe you could add into your own food rotation in a fat loss phase. And I will say that if you're new here, there's no right or wrong to this stuff, right? To fitness, to losing weight. You can do it however you wanna do it. You can eat whatever foods you wanna eat. You don't have to eat the foods that I like. I'm just gonna show you how I approach it, the foods that I enjoy uh, to eat. And again, you don't have to eat any of these things. So as a snack, I got these two Quest protein chip bags. Uh, I've been really liking these lately. They are super calorie friendly. These, these are just as a snack. 140 calories per bag, only four and a half grams of fat, only four grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. The, the macros are obviously infinitely better than normal chips. And to be honest, they taste pretty good to me. I don't really care that they don't taste exactly like Doritos. All right. This is gonna be the carb-based bag. <laughs> so I got some thick spaghetti. I got four boxes of pasta. Two of them are penne here. I've you know, been having pasta a decent amount lately. Um, you know, I'm a Italian boy, so I grew up on pasta. We've been having it a little bit more than usual lately. And you know, pa uh, pasta gets a bad uh, rep, obviously, because people think it's the worst thing ever. The macros on pasta are not terrible. It's just a carb source, right? 42 grams of carbs per serving only one gram of fat, seven protein. As long as you measure it out and know exactly how much you're having, this isn't too difficult to fit in in a fat loss phase. Then I got a roll of bagels here. We typically have bagels around just because they're so good. And again, the macros on a bagel aren't terrible. About 52 grams of carbs, only two fat, nine or 10 grams of protein, pretty solid. I will say though, if I need to save more calories and I can't fit a full bagel into my day, I do have these uh, light multi-grain English muffins, which are about half the calories, right? Only 200 calories, 26 grams of carbs. So we cut it in half. And it also has eight grams of fiber which I very much like. And then we don't always get this, but these are literally hamburger buns because you'll see one of the other things I got uh, today was turkey burgers and you gotta have buns to go along with the burgers. So this is usually like a once a week or once every other week type of thing. Last thing in that bag is two ghost energy drinks. These are really good. I'm a big fan of energy drinks in general, but these are typically my go-to. I'll have, you know, between two or three of them, maybe in a whole week, maybe sometimes not even that much. We got some nice fresh bananas, got some eggs, got uh, 18 eggs there. And the reason I don't have egg whites is because I've already got plenty stocked up here in the fridge. So I've got eggs, I've got egg whites, we're ready to go. Now we've got a couple protein sources. So here I've got a ribeye steak finely sliced. So you can make like, uh, you know, a, a sandwich or something out of this. And I got this, this is actually my first time getting it. I wanted to try something new. The macros are great on this. 11 grams of fat per serving, 25 grams of protein, obviously no carbs. So that's something we're gonna try tonight. Maybe I'll hate it. Uh, maybe I'll really like it and it will be a new addition to the rotation. And then here I've got 100% grass-fed Angus beef New York strip steak. We're not people who eat steak too often, but I know Morgan really, really likes it. I'm more of a chicken, ground turkey type of guy, ground beef as well. I'm not someone who likes eating steak frequently, and there's no reason for that other than I, I typically don't enjoy it as much as, you know, the, the leaner meats, but this one looks good. Um, when it comes to beef, we've been going with grass-fed beef, and it's been much easier digestion wise, much easier on my stomach. Morgan agrees as well. Um, so that's something that, you know, I'm not too picky on my foods being organic or not organic, but grass fed beef has made a noticeable difference for me in my ability to eat and digest and enjoy uh, beef products. So we've got this strip steak. Again, really good macros here. Nine grams of fat per serving, 24 protein, no carbs. So we've got these two to try out this week. So I've got these minute rice cups. 
cups. We literally keep these around every single week because they're so easy. We also have normal rice, right? People always, I always get like negative comments on my videos when I talk about minute rice because people think it's less healthy or people think that it's like, you should just eat normal rice. We have normal rice, okay? But this makes it really easy. Like if you actually work full time or you actually have things going on where you can't always cook a full meal or you, you want to save yourself 10 or 15 minutes to make normal rice, you can pop one of these in the microwave for a minute. I'm not sponsored by them. I don't care. Eat whatever you want. You don't have to eat these at all. This is what I eat. <laughs> I've also got these um, water flavoring packets. This is green tea with honey mix uh, that you put into your water for extra flavoring. I use maybe two or so of these a day, right? So they're very, very small, very, very, um, you know, small little packets here, but I do use you know, one or two of them a day, and the rest of my water I try to drink just plain. Here we've got the turkey burgers that we're gonna use those buns for. These are turkey burger patties. You, they come in a pack of four, only nine grams of fat per burger, 26 grams of protein. I'm a big burger guy. Uh, these lean turkey patties are way more macro friendly than any traditional beef patty you're gonna get in the grocery store. Mo like, honestly, most burgers that you're gonna pick up for, you know, the cheap cheapest price or the, you know, the nicest beef, you're, you're going to get 30 to 35 grams of fat per burger and you're going to get under 20 grams of protein. So to go with something like this, like that's a small sacrifice. Of course, that beef one with 35 grams of fat is going to taste way better, right? But be double the amount of calories and it's not going <laughs> to, it's, it's not going to be as macro friendly. So if you care about your body composition, if you care about eating in a way that's going to make you look and feel your best, going with a lean turkey burger patty is a small sacrifice in my opinion and by the way I enjoy the way these taste I've got some more fruit with the watermelon here I've been on a big watermelon kick lately I, I try to have between one and two pieces of fruit per day that's something that I prioritize greatly as well as one to two vegetables per day as well it's something that you know is crucial to your health as far as vitamins minerals fiber um, eating whole foods right got to get some fruit in your diet and as well something that I, I literally addicted to is pickles. Uh, I got this exact big jar last week. I couldn't stop eating it. There's pretty much no calories, no macros, but it's such a high sodium food that it's not something you want to eat a ton of, but man, I'm officially addicted to pickles. So here we've got some yogurt. This is almond milk dairy-free yogurt for Morgan, right? She, she eats dairy-free. Um, I have, I caught that, slightly impressive. I have my Greek yogurt Oikos Pro already in in the fridge, but this is for her. And this protein granola is for both of us. Uh, this isn't the most macro friendly uh, thing to have in, in your diet, right? If you're trying to lose weight, adding <laughs> 300 calories to your yogurt uh, isn't always the best idea. We like it, so we make room for it, right? It's not a big deal, but one serving is seven grams of fat, 40 grams of carbs. So we're talking about the macros of like a bagel here and 13 grams of protein. Th this is almost identical in calories and macronutrient breakdown to a bagel. Yet people think this is amazing and people shit on the bagels saying they're the worst thing in the world, right? So uh, again, this is something we'll use sparingly. Sometimes I use half a serving, but you know, it does make the yogurt taste better. So if I want to uh, use up the, the full serving, that's fine too. Here we go with some creamer for the coffee. This is mostly what Morgan uses. Um, I'll have a couple of coffees throughout the week, similar to an energy drink. Maybe I'll have one or two energy drinks throughout the week. Maybe I'll have two or three cups of coffee throughout the week, but when I do, I'm gonna put some creamer in it. This stuff is a game changer if you enjoy it non-fat cottage cheese with pineapple. So there's no fat in this, obviously. Eight grams of carbs per serving, 11 grams of protein. And when I eat this, I either eat um, the entire container, which is four servings, so I'm getting over 40 grams of protein, or I cut it in half. So I have two servings today, two servings tomorrow. And then these are for a snack. These are high fiber uh, granola bars. This one is fiber one, chewy bars, oats and chocolate, uh, four grams of fat per bar, 29 carbs, 
two grams of protein. So they're not a macro friendly bar, right? There's nothing amazing about them, but they do have nine grams of fiber, which helps me get my fiber up. I'm trying to aim for about 30 to 50 grams of fiber per day. And then these ones, similar, they're the same brand, Fiber One. They're only 70 calories. This is cinnamon coffee cake flavor. And this one is basically half the amount of calories, but you're also getting six grams of fiber. So sometimes I'll have one of these or both of these before a workout as a quick carb source. So that's everything we got today. There are a few things that I'm gonna show you that we keep around that I didn't need to get right now just because they're already in the house. Number one is these high fiber tortillas, carb balance, whole wheat tortillas, uh, six grams of fat, 30 carbs, nine protein, but there's 25 grams of fiber in one of these things. So the last few days I've been having a breakfast wrap or breakfast burrito, two eggs with some cheese in one of these. And if, you know, if you're aiming like me for 30 grams of fiber, Fiber, this pretty much gets you all the way there. I've also got spinach that I put in my eggs and my egg whites. This is an easy way to get in more vegetables uh, that you don't really taste, to be honest, when it's in scrambled eggs or in an omelet. And typically we'll have another one or two protein sources. I showed you the lean uh, ribeye shredded steak and the New York strip steak. Usually we'll have some chicken around or some ground turkey around as well. Uh, but right now it's a it's actually a Friday when I'm filming this. So this stuff is just mainly meant to last us for the next three or four days. So there you go. That's what a typical grocery haul might look like for me. I hope this was helpful. If it was, consider subscribing to my channel because I make new videos just like this every single week. I like to document uh, my own journeys, my own phases, uh, you know, what I'm doing in my fitness journey in case it can help you or in case you get an idea from it. So hope this was helpful. I'm gonna leave another video up here that I think might be helpful as well if you like this one. So go ahead and check that one out. I'll see you over there and thank you again for watching.